Welcome to another video about our trip to Penghu. And today we are kayaking! <laughs> so we have a, a kayaking place we did. You just basically rent the kayaks and then you can go out for two hours by yourself and explore. So that's more of our kind of scene because we like to kind of see what's going around. So we will show you what we find and see. This like party boat's going out. I don't know if you can see. There's like a slide on the back of it and everything. That is a slide on the back of that boat. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Well, we went pretty far. Really quick. I can see how he's right. Going back will be more difficult. <laughs> great about doing a kayaking trip like this is you're able to self-explore or do some uh, self-discovery of, of, the, of the island yourself. The weather is hot, but the water here, there must be some kind of current that comes down from the north because the water is quite cold, which is perfect. Like when we first got in this water, we were like, Whoa! <laughs> even though it's like 100 degrees out, it's super hot. Fish? No, I think it was seaweed. <laughs> has the island vibe. Uh, another thing that I like about Penghu, we've met the nicest people. Strangely enough, we've met a guy from Queens, New York. If you open yourself up to, to adventure, uh, the treasures you will find. It's a good activity. Yeah, we made it back. It was good exercise, a strong current. <laughs> There's a really strong current. Yeah. So and uh, I think I was thinking when we were rowing back how amazing this is because there's like nobody around. I mean, we just have this whole entire place to ourselves. Yeah, so, it's like a private cove. Just private cove, which I mean, in Taiwan, to find something that you can do with nobody around is really special. Pretty impressive. Yeah. I enjoyed it. We got to swim a little bit. And then after this, we're going to go try to find another spot and try some snorkeling again while we're wet and dirty before going back to our hotel for our afternoon nap. <laughs> After you're out in the sun for a long time, you really do need to like go in and kind of get cool and rest because it is hot for sure. Okay, so we're at a real special location to go swimming. Big reveal. Hello! <laughs> we're swimming at the Rainbow Bridge. I've been looking for a nice spot to snorkel and I haven't really found it yet. So at least I can kind of look around. where they have an underwater post office? Mailbox? Mailbox? Something like that. We saw the pictures online that they bring scuba tour groups here and then you can like go down to this mailbox and really mail a letter and they actually collect it. Um, I'll, put a, I'll put a picture here because obviously we can't go there right now. This is a totally secluded area so it's amazing. There's actually no cell service here. Yeah, there's no cell service here, so that's kind of unnerving, but it's not very far away from where there is cell service. Penghu is great because if you want sandy beaches with lots of people around where you feel safer and you have more of that like 
summer beach vibe, you can go there. There's tons of beaches like that. There's also little areas like this where it's rocky, there's not a lot of people. You can kind of explore and walk around. So I think it's the best of both worlds. You have everything here. So it's, this spot is really beautiful. I like it a lot. Everybody, what's the name of my drink? Uh, is it a lactate bubble? Bubble lactate. Bubble lactate. <laughs> Bad translation. My apologies. <laughs> this is an American themed restaurant. They got baseball playing, they got Budweiser, Neons, and uh, yeah, we'll show you the food that we chose. We sat right next to a Pennsylvania license plate. What's the odds? Fish and chips. What'd you get? We got the lamb chops. Now this place is not exactly the most warm and welcoming, but you need to come here because these lamb chops are like meat candy. They're absolutely tender, they're very juicy, and it has a mint sauce, but it's the mint's very subtle. I know when I say mint sauce, you might think like a toothpaste or a breath mint. Nope, it's just subtle enough that we just catch the very hint of it. And it's a very savory type of sauce. Absolutely amazing. This hot ones level is like maybe a six or five. <laughs> these are spicy wings. So these are not for amateurs. Be careful if you order the spicy wings here. I um, tried just like a finger and my eyes started to water up, so yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. Yeah, this is supposed to be the old street leading up to this famous temple. All right, this actually isn't ice cream, it's more of a sorbet, but it's really good. 
as we said with the, the drink we had um, two days ago, it's kind of like nature's fruit punch. I don't know if it's the color that's messing with us or what, but I feel like the flavor is just kind of fruity and light, a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, and I like it a lot. It's good. And we also got a slushie. This was more for Gabe because we thought ice cream he can't eat, so. Yeah, so we're gonna enjoy it. It's pretty good. And it's so hot. Super hot. And it's right next to. Oh, yeah. And we're right next to this very famous, supposedly the oldest temple in Taiwan. Um, I believe it's called Tian Ho, but I could be pronouncing it wrong. And uh, I, when I was looking up stuff to do in Peng Hu, they were like, oh, this is a must see because it's just a super, super famous place. And it's really amazing inside because it has all of the wood, natural wood and intricate carvings and it's really kind of magical when you walk inside. Okay, this was our room that we stayed in and I really, really loved it. I was super happy with the cleanliness. It was probably the cleanest place we've ever stayed. There was just no dirt at all. Everything seemed new and nice. Okay, this was not just a bedroom, it's actually like a double room. So we have this cute little sitting area here with two little couches and a table. We also have a little balcony. You can come out here. And it's not exactly an ocean view, but we can actually see the ocean if you want to come out here. And she has a little table here with some benches. And then out this way, I think it's kind of neat, like a different kind of vegetation than I'm used to seeing, like flat and like these interesting bushes. So it kind of looks cool. It's really hot out here right now though. <laughs> the last part, of course there's a bathroom, but I think that the bathroom is pretty cute because it's like coral blue and looks like the ocean and then a nice big shower. Oh yeah, and then there's also a rooftop little patio you can go to at night. She has some twinkly lights strung up and a table and it's really, really cute up there. And this is a homestay, so there's actually a kitchen downstairs that we're, we can use and there's a living room. We didn't we didn't use any of those, but if we wanted to, we could have bought food and made them there. She said we could use the kitchen. Um, oh, overall, we're really, really happy. The lady's been super helpful. She helped us rent the scooter. She helped us set up the kayaking excursion. She bought us sticky rolls, which were amazing. She made tea that she said we could help ourselves to. So overall, we're definitely gonna give this place a great review because it was clean, friendly, like, Convenient, somebody's weed whacking outside. <laughs> was that a weed whacker? I don't oh. know what that was. I don't know what that was. Like a weird Maybe scooter. Maybe a weird scooter, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching our Peng Hu video. We hope that you enjoyed and maybe someday you have the opportunity to come here and you can check out some of the spots that we saw. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It's uh, it's the easiest way to support us. And plus, it's free. And not only that, it means the world to us when we get new subscribers. And also, if you feel like, uh, please comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, and if you just wanted to share your thoughts as well. Uh, again, we love sh we love reading the comments, and uh, yeah, we just hope you're happy and healthy and safe. So. All right, bye guys. Bye.